question why I come to methods and we 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 have been talking before the session, one of the questions that we came out in the session. We did the pathology role in modern societies. Um, I mean some questions for you, for us to discuss together. So should archaeology and archaeologists be more present and assume more active role in society? Uh, obviously we, we all do our work in society, but I mean using new media as an object we reach go out of the point as our colleagues were saying, are we just talking to each other? How can we go further? Um, can archaeology effectively contribute to a better understanding between cultures? I think this is very interesting because we are always saying not that knowing other uh, knowing other cultures will bring us more together, will bring our humanity and more empathy. Is that true? Can we really do that? Or are we doing that really efficiently? And how can archaeologists and other research in human science contribute towards finding solutions to our disturbing times? It's following the second question. How can we really bring our voice to this context? Our answer in our project, or at least what we believe we can start by doing something, is having a stronger voice. Um, our voice is really needed in this time. And um, I think we have a lot of things to say. We have the historical perspective. We can really bring this to, to the society. We ch the challenges that we are facing today, we have seen many of them before, and we know the results. And I think we can transmit this kind of, of, of knowledge that we really have. So what we propose as, as a group, as a project, um, so it's a little bit following the previous the previous uh, presentation of our release from NASA. We do believe that with education and more accessible education in our subjects, people will engage and we will, we will achieve um, uh, a, a more quickly, people that probably will not have the possibility of, of, of studying archaeology or heritage, we will try to reach that public with the new technologies and more dissemination to the public in a more, um, maybe using gaming or other strategies, um, new strategies and podcasting and platforms and platforms. So on education, what do we propose? Um, as we are a group of, of archaeologists that work in Africa, so we are um, creating a platform on online uh, African and heritage archaeology with courses, with information. Um, so uh, students around the world that um, are interested in these subjects can accede. Um, obviously, we always have a special uh, reference to African students, of course, but it's open to everyone. Um, we created, we call it ONLA. It's um, online learning um, on African archaeology and heritage. We have already a, a rival page where people can subscribe to our newsletter and start to create this community to engage people when the courses arrive, hopefully next year. And now are we creating this platform, bringing together experts, uh, teachers, researchers, and resources on archives, publications, databases, into this platform. So we are giving information that many times it's already there, but it's not organized and then you lost it. You, are, you lose yourself in a way, like searching for information, you are trying to have this. And as our colleague said before, they already have a learning platform. And it's amazing because you can have the, the experts that you never exceed, but you have them online. You can learn with them. It's, it's really um, a democratization of education and of information. Um, our main object, so um, offer the first online course on African archaeology and heritage accessible worldwide. There are some things but not with this um, content and all the, the tools we are trying to have. Um, engage a new generation of researchers from around the world, um, especially from Africa, to study and diffusion of the protection of this African archaeology and heritage. Why online learning? <coughs> well, the numbers are astonished and we really believe it's a, it's, it's a future of education, or at least will be part of the future of education, for sure. It is already. Um, it can be accessed from anywhere. If, I, if for instance, related with Africa, uh, it's one of the continents where the technology is arriving faster. Um, many people has, a, has a, a mobile phone, and so we are very concerned not only on e-learning, but m-learning with the, the mobile device. So we, we are. We have that in mind, so the, to have uh, the MOOCs be very uh, accessible by, by phone. Uh, we will start with the MOOC. We have uh, the, the objective is give a degree, but that implies uh, more field work, of course, so it's another level. We are trying to have a structure that then can bring our students to the field, but for, uh, for now we'll start, start with the MOOC. 
even to see how uh, many um, how many people we can reach and we have a community that can support the achievement of the degree. We want to, to, to work in capacity building for students, but also for, for, for teachers from around the world. Many, many times we don't have information concerning, concerning African archaeology and heritage. And even for students for the secondary, for teachers for the secondary school, for instance, that are interested in these things, and even in Africa, they can see their archives, they have everything, so they can prepare their, 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 their work. Um, and being all subject to item project. Also, the dissemination. We are focusing on the idea of having a podcast because it's really another um, interesting way of reaching, and it's, the 2017 is considered the year of the podcast. It's been like amazing, especially in the United States, it's like about 67 million people each month. So, um, our idea is to create uh, a podcast. We are thinking of calling the Connecting the Cultures podcast in the sense like, we were saying before, now, can we really make these bridges? I do believe so, so we will try um, to bring, with a for voice, we mean that it will not be a, a scientific podcast. We will we'll try to bring people from the um, human sciences to explain their job, what they do, what, the importance and their role in society. So what will we have? The online platform uh, with the education part and the dissemination part with the YouTube channel, so we can upload the videos of the classes also to the online media, a monthly newsletter, and our podcast. What do, do we have already? Well, we start with a consortium of uh, four institutions, the Ferrer from Algarve University, the Deutsche Archaeological Institute, uh, the University of the University of Neuchâtel, the Louisville University of the United States, and uh, we have our uh, first African partner, the University of Mozambique, Mondial University, that we are working uh, already with them. And hopefully, we will have other uh, partners in Africa. We also have contacts in Sudan, in Morocco. So we we'll start, we we'll start, we are getting there because without them, it um, makes no sense, of course. And uh, we have our first movies recorded. We, we had a meeting um, in uh, Aswan in Egypt that we start the first videos were, were, were uh, filmed there. In conclusion, um, we do believe that using the new world of online technology, e-learning, podcasting, other, 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 other ways of communicating with the public, um, we, can, we can have a strong voice. We need to have it. Of course, maybe we have to find uh, with gaming, with, I don't know, but together we have to find out a way to reach out there more, to go out from our circle. I think we are doing it, and some projects are really uh, doing that, uh, but we need to know better how to do it, I believe, because our voice is needed. Thank you so much.